Unless you've been living under a rock, you're not aware that last week a court ruled against Alex Jones in a case of the uh, family members of the victims of the Sandy Hook massacre versus Alex Jones and Infowars or just Alex Jones. Now the findings of the court was that he is supposed to pay close to one billion dollars in restitution for family members for mental anguish and supposedly encouraging people to track down and harass the family members and members of law enforcement. I'm not going to go into specifics on that. There are a few things I am going to bring up on the case though that are questionable. Uh, I was not, you know, little disclaimer, I was not there at the trial to see everything that went on. I did not watch every minute of it. But I did see the interview last week, the day after the verdict. Uh, Steven Crowder had Alex Jones on his show for the entire show and questioned him about the case. And they went through, they played clips so that you've seen in the people's own words what was going on in the case. Now, reportedly, when the case began in the courtroom, the judge instructed the jury that Jones was guilty and the only reason they were there was to determine how much he should be fined but made the comment to them that the amount of money didn't matter. What mattered is removing him and Infowars from existence and to discourage anyone from ever doing anything like Infowars does ever again. And what they're talking about is questioning the narrative on everything. Now, they also showed a clip of the plaintiff's representatives, because this was a civil case, not criminal, so it's not prosecution. The plaintiff's legal team doing a press conference saying that it did not matter if any of their clients got money. What mattered was that Infowars was eliminated, Jones was silenced forever, as long, uh, and also made the comment that no one would ever dissent to the official storylines on anything ever again. Now, I will probably put links in the description here. I might put in there the link for the uh, that episode of Louder with Crowder so you can see it yourself and you can draw your own conclusions. But one thing, the main purpose of this video is to get people to go over there and donate to help. Now, I do not like Alex Jones, okay? There's a lot of things about him I do not like. He did some good work when he was newer and younger and that stuff, and then Later on, especially when he got up around his uh, divorce from his first wife, everything with him and Infowars was all about money. It was just constant sales pitch all the time. And then when Trump came along, Jones was the high priest of the Trump cult and still is to this day, but he denies it. Even though <laughs> you could see it with your own eyes and hear it with your own ears. So, but I encourage everyone to go over and support InfoWars, okay? The purpose of this case is to quell dissent, to stop us from ever questioning anything ever again, to make us so afraid to point out things that we question. You know, so that it's to make you think Whenever you question anything that you're being told in an official story about anything, whether it's in the United States, it's overseas, a piece of legislation, 
to make you think because no one else is talking about it, you're the crazy one and you should keep your mouth shut. In actuality, there's others that are questioning stuff also, but they're not, they don't have the guts to talk about it because everyone is afraid that they could be taken to court and they could have a judgment against them for millions of dollars or billions of dollars since we've now set that precedence that a single person has to pay one billion dollars in restitution. Go over to InfoWars, even if you don't like them, because this is a freedom of speech, a freedom of the press situation. Remember what happened on YouTube when they banned Alex Jones, they banned InfoWars, and they banned channels that posted any of his stuff, whether it was a movie or a clip of his show or the complete broadcast, didn't matter. The channel was just automatic third strike, you're gone. After they Alex Jones him, and that's what it's referred to now by those of us on YouTube here, it's referred to as Alex Jonesing. After they kicked him off of YouTube, that is when we had the adpocalypse. Channels that were monetized, never seen another check. Ads are running on their videos, but they don't get any money for it. That's also the point where everyone started getting strikes for everything and anything that the YouTube staff didn't like because it doesn't fit their political agendas. All of that started when they took Alex Jones off of YouTube. What do you think is going to happen if this verdict is allowed to stand? What do you think is going to happen to free speech and freedom of the press for all the alternative media people on the right and left? Leftists may have control of the government now, but someday it'll swing the other direction. And then they're the ones that'll be screaming persecution. All of us should go over to InfoWars, to their store, and kick them some money. Now, I'll show you a few things here that uh, I recommend. The first thing I'm going to show you is a citizen's rule book. Now, inside this, you have a copy of the Declaration of Independence. You have the U.S. Constitution. You have the Bill of Rights. There is also quotes in here from the Founding Fathers. There are speeches from the Founding Fathers in here also, along with um, some Bible passages. This book is meant for, you know, as it says on there, a jury handbook to try to explain to you what your duty is as a member of a jury. But it has in here the founding documents of this country. Get some of these. Pass them out. If you're in a patriot organization, a militia organization, get some of these. Everyone should carry a copy of the U.S. Constitution in a rucksack that they can pull out and read when they feel like it, when they get the time to, so that you know why you're fighting. If you're part of a unit, get a bunch of these and put them in your caches. So that after a conflict would begin, you open up your cache of food or whatever, and then you got, you know, 10 or 20 copies of this in there, pass these out to the new people. Or pass them out to the civilians when you move through an area. Show them why you're fighting, pointing it out in here. The rights that they've lost under martial law. Now, these citizen rule books are... $2 each, or as of today when I looked, 10 for $10, 20 for $17, 50 for 3750 That does not include shipping. Now, another item I really recommend is this. 
Vitamin Mineral Fusion. This is a drink mix. This is kind of like a multivitamin drink powder. This is damn good. It's a hell of a lot better than any Kool-Aid you're going to have or fruit punch or even it's a lot better than most fruit juices. I have a few uh, of these that are part of my personal supplies that I carry with me. It is really good. For any nutritional information on this, go over to the InfoWars store, look it up. Now this is a, let's see if I can find how much is in here. Oh, it doesn't say on here. 30 servings, so about one month. And there's a small scooper inside here. You mix this in water. Or you could mix it in tea. I've done that a few times also. You know, get some of this. It's not cheap, but maybe you want to toss in a canister of this with each food cache that you put, you know, drink mixes in. Since you can add a little bit of this in with that drink mix so that you get more vitamins in it. Like you used to get with the old version of Tang before they uh, refortified it or uh, re reinvented it. Now the Vitamin Min Mineral Fusion is in stock. I just looked and they're selling it for $29.95 a piece. Not cheap, but like I said, it is damn good. And it does give you a lot of the vitamins and minerals you need each day. Not all of them, but it damn sure helps. Now you can also, should you so choose, make donations. Over at the InfoWars store, and I will put a link in the description, and I will put a pinned comment over on YouTube with the link to the InfoWars store you can get what's called a sponsorship or you're making a donation. The lowest ones that I've seen on there are $5 and $10. I know they go up from there to like 50 and 100, I think is what I've seen when I've looked through there. Now I did look through the store. He does not have any <coughs> storable foods in stock. <coughs> Damn it. He did not have any heirloom seeds in stock, did not have any radios left, the mini survival radios. He does still have a decent stock of books and DVDs, and not just his. You can find Mark Dice's books over there, at least some of them. And the price on there, I'd say is probably comparable to what you'd find over at Amazon or somewhere else. It might be a little bit more, but, you know, it's still pretty close. And remember, the money you're sending is for free speech, really. Do I like Alex Jones? Hell no. But I will stand with him on this because it is a free speech thing. If they're able to keep him silent, use him as the example, what do you think you're going to be allowed to say or think or post or watch in a year, two years, five years? What will your children be allowed to have, be allowed to say? So just hold your nose, go over there, look through what he's got. He's still got t-shirts and that stuff too. Not as good as they used to be, but there's still some there. Look through See if you can find a few things that you could you might want to try, you might like. You know, if you don't find anything in there, hey, kick them that $5 donation. Every little bit, I'm sure, will help. Even if you're a leftist and you're screaming at this that this is Alex Jones, this is a free speech thing. You have a right to speak also. If they get rid of Alex Jones now... Will you think there will be anyone standing for you tomorrow when an actual right-wing government takes over? Do you think anyone will stand and support your freedom of speech? This isn't too much different than that court case of Skokie, Illinois versus 
the uh, American Nazi Party or whoever the hell it was back in the 70s. People asked the Jewish lawyers that were defending the American Nazi Party why they were doing it. And they said, because it's about freedom of speech. If we allow them to lose their freedom of speech, who will stand with us when it comes to us, when they try taking ours away? Freedom covers both sides. The Bill of Rights applies to both sides, whether you want to accept it or not. This is a free speech thing. This is a freedom of the press thing. Go over there, kick them some money. He's saying that he thinks the uh, appeals will go about two years. He has been talking to constitutional lawyers on this, major ones in the United States, about the verdict, and they have told him what happened in that court case is a violation of his, of his constitutional rights because of things that happened in the courtroom when they have looked at the footage. They've said he was denied his constitutional rights, and just the way the whole case was handle, handled was a complete violation of jurisprudence in the United States, the way court cases are supposed to happen. So they're telling him that he'll probably win his appeals. But, you know, he's going to have to cover the bills till then. He's got to pay the attorneys for this court case. He'll have to pay the attorneys for those court cases. And if he loses a second time, you know, really, it's an excessive uh, fine which is unconstitutional in and of itself, and he'll need the help to cover that. Go over there. Even if you don't like the guy, kick him a few bucks. It's your rights that are on the line too, not just his. And don't forget that.